It is time to make my famous ghetto spaghetti. What's up, y'all? Well, let's start. Let's get on into it, because I know you want to eat. No problem. I got you. Let's make this holy goose spaghetti. Let's cut up these vegetables. Let's go. And as always, if this video is a blessing to you, don't forget to like, comment below, and subscribe to my channel. We are using fresh ingredients. We got that bell pepper right there. We're gonna chop it on up. Let's get it. We gotta chop it in fine pieces. We don't wanna choke on no bell pepper, okay? Next up, we have our yellow onion. We're gonna chop it up into nice pieces. Put it in the bowl with the bell pepper. We gotta move on, saints, to the garlic. Fresh garlic, okay? Now I have a thing about fresh garlic. It's gotta be fresh. I don't want it out the jar. Take the time when you're making spaghetti to use fresh garlic. There's no comparison. No comparison. Don't use this. It doesn't taste the same. I don't even know why this is in my house. It's this. And yes, it does take a little bit of work, but it's worth it. The taste is so much better. So no jar saints. You better stop. Brown turkey doesn't have a lot of fat. And I always get the 85-15 turkey. I hate the 93% fat turkey because it's so lean that you get nothing from it. So I always put a little bit of olive oil. Come on, somebody. I know this is unorthodox. You've never seen it before. Put a little olive oil at the bottom. And this is how we're gonna do our ground turkey. <laughs> when I'm using hamburger, turkey, whatever, a little sausage in there, I do not drain the meat. Now, I don't know where y'all got that from. Your mama taught you how to do it. I don't, I don't want my, my grease. I don't want no grease in my spaghetti. I do. I want all the flavor, all of it. This is like three pounds of turkey. Wow. And I make a lot because I also want to freeze what we don't eat. I like to freeze my sauce because it's even better, you know, when you take it out, you know, weeks from now, a month from now, whenever you want to use it again, it, it literally, it tastes better. If that's at all possible. I don't know how it's possible, but you know. It, it literally tastes better um, after it's been in the freezer. So, and then, you know, that's a meal that you don't have to make. All you gotta do is just boil the noodles again and, uh, and you're good to go and you got a meal already ready. Somebody got this for me a long time ago. God bless you. But, so we're gonna take our vegetables that we cut up, our, the holy trinity, uh, onions, peppers, and garlic. And I want them to really cook in with the meat. Some of y'all do it separate. I like to put it together. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna drain it no way. No! So let's just get it all in there and get every little piece of that garlic up in there. All up in that meat. Wow! I feel like I'm saying something naughty. Mm-hmm. Huh? Get all up in that meat. What? What? So after I used all my granulated garlic, I saved this. And then I went back in and I put onion powder, garlic, granulated garlic, Laurie seasoning salt, uh, and Mrs. Dash, original Mrs. Dash, a little bit of garlic and herb Mrs. Dash, and shook it all together. And this is my all-purpose seasoning. All-purpose. All right, so I use it for everything, right? So you, you should do the same so you don't have to bring out all five different ingredients. You got them all right here. So I'm just going to, and you just put in as much seasoning as you want. But you know, we don't measure here. Nope. And you need to season turkey a little bit more because it doesn't take the flavor as easily as hamburger does for whatever reason. You gotta season it more, okay? Everybody needs one of these. Put your stuff on, put your spoon on, so you ain't messing up your counter space. I don't like uh, powdery pepper. I like pepper that you can feel, hey, amen? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Big flakes of pepper, that's what I like. This is garlic and onion, black pepper and salt. 
and I just take this according to your taste buds, huh? According to your faith. According to your faith. Get on in there and season that turkey up. Well, that's going to be good right there. Woo! Yes, sir. Oh, yes. You can smell it. I know you can smell it. You can smell those onions. You can smell that garlic. Wait a minute. Getting good. Who are you? For those of us who like it spicy, I like it spicy. I know I put some black pepper in there. Now, you can omit this if this is not what you want. Any of this you can omit. If you don't like green peppers, don't put your peppers in there. Some of y'all, you know, I like, I like mushrooms. We like mushrooms. Mikey and I like mushrooms in our family. But some of y'all don't want to do that. I'll just put a little bit in there because we like it spicy. That's it. Okay, let it cook on down. All right. So, of course, we can't forget our Italian seasoning, right? So, let's go. Put that in. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Now, this is like parsley, oregano, basil, dry basil. Put that in there. Now, here's a trick that people aren't hip to. If you go to a specialty store, which I like to go to, like little markets or whatever, if you go buy the bread, there is something called like, where you get um, French bread or some kind of Italian crusty bread, and you can get these, and these are to uh, mix with olive oil. And you mix a, just a little bit of this with some olive oil and dip that bread in, child, you don't know nothing about good eating now. But what I do is I take a little bit of this. Here you got roasted, what is that? Roasted garlic and cheese, rosemary and garlic, garlic and tomato, sun-dried tomato and garlic. You can take any one of these and pop it on in there. So I'm gonna do the sun-dried tomato and basil. Pop the top. Put that in there. I'm also gonna take a little bit of garlic and tomato. Now this is really dipping sauce for your bread, but it's seasoning. And just use a little bit, rosemary and garlic. Look at those spices. Look at those spices. Child, come on, somebody. All right? And let's mix that on up in there. Oh, my God. 12 ounces of tomato paste. You need a little bit of moisture. Use this whole can. Because I'm making a lot of sauce. I don't know how much y'all make. But uh, we want a lot of sauce. Need any water right now? This is my favorite, my favorite spaghetti sauce. This is Barilla roasted garlic, my favorite. You can use anything you want. You can use the cheap stuff that, that look like water, you know, whatever you want to use. Here's my trick. Take it, get everything out, put the put the top on the jar, and set it down. So while that's working. All of it's going to the bottom. <laughs> I'm gonna get every every dime that I spent, I'm gonna get all my sauce out of it. All right, I'm gonna use about three jars of this sauce. Put the jar back, put the top back on. We're gonna get every we're gonna get everything that God had out of this jar. That's jar number three. And we're gonna do it like that. Wait until it all comes to the bottom. Amen. Now, because you put tomato paste in all of this sauce, it is very tomatoey and a little bitter. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some sugar to this. And, and you're gonna do it to your taste. My, um, my late husband, my late husband used to love his spaghetti sauce sweet. Dion Kipping, what's up? Great gospel songwriter. Dion Kipping loves sweet spaghetti. And so he would put sugar 
on top of his spaghetti. Ew. I think that's gross. Ew. I think that's disgusting. I think it's disgusting. I think I don't I don't like sweet, sweet. But I want to cut into that tomato just a little bit. So this is what separates my sauce from everybody else's. Are you ready? <laughs> hold on, hold on. Y'all y'all gotta be ready for it. Bam! Bam! Boom! Boom! Bip bop boom! Bada bop boom! One stick of butter. You can use half stick. You don't have to use any butter at all, but I'll tell you this. It's gonna set you free. It makes this sauce creamy and dreamy and wonderful and amazing. And and, and it's, 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 it's... You ready? You ready? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my God. Oh my Lord. Don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about it. It's shameful. But it's so good. Oh, oh my God. Some of y'all scared. Some of y'all said, oh my God, Lexi, that's so much butter. You don't need no more olive oil. Oh my God. Well, I don't know what you come to do. But I come to praise and magnify and glorify his name. Just a little drizzle. Just a little drizzle. No, God, please, no, no. Just a little drizzle, my nizzle. Hmm? That's all we need. Hmm? Huh? <laughs> Don't worry about it. I got you. Huh? What? Let this simmer as long as you can. Let that olive oil, let the sugar, let the fresh ingredients, the garlic, the, the peppers and everything, let it just marinate. Come on, somebody, marinate. Let it marinate and just work its way. That butter. Oh my goodness. Just let that get on in there, huh? Let the rhythm get into you. And we're just going to cover it, move it to the back burner, and just let it simmer for about 20, 30 minutes, whatever you wanna do. I wanna put in some oil. It could be vegetable oil, canola oil, any kind of oil, it doesn't matter. I just don't use olive oil, all right? And just pour a little bit of that. That's gonna keep our noodles from sticking. And then we're gonna put a little salt, any old kind of salt. I stopped using iodized salt a long time ago. So this is just coarse, all natural sea salt. All right, and just put a little bit in the water, just like that. I wanna just give you some tidbits. Are you ready? Read the box. I like thin spaghetti. This says six to seven minutes. Read the box. I hate overcooked noodles. That's not what we're doing. That's not what God is calling for. Read the box. This is thin spaghetti, right? Six to seven minutes. Watch this. I have thick spaghetti. What does it read? Read. What does that say? 11 to 12 minutes. Read the box. So whether you use thick, whether you use thin, whatever it is, read the box and pay attention and watch your timer. Do not go over what this says. Stop. stop it. I mean, stop. Stop. And I mean, stop. Stop. Breaking your spaghetti noodles. <laughs> Listen, that's how I learned. My mother taught me when the water boils, we take our spaghetti noodles out, we break them, then put them in the water. Who taught you that? What? She did it because her mother did it before her and her mother did it before her. But whenever we go to an Italian restaurant, it's going to blow your mind. Whenever you go to an Italian restaurant, their noodles are never broken. I just blew your mind. Y'all need to send me a tie. Put, put, my, put my cash app on the screen. Put my cash app name on the screen. Cause I, I just blew y'all away. Somebody owe me some money. Whenever you go and get pasta from an Italian restaurant, any restaurant, the noodles are never broken. Why in the black community we do that? Huh? Stop doing it. We're not gonna do that anymore. We're gonna twirl. See, even on the box, they want you to twirl the noodles. Even on the box, they want you to twirl the noodles. Even on the box. That's what we're gonna do today. Just put our spaghetti in there. And so we hurry up. If you're cooking more than one box, hurry up. So they can all cook at the same speed. Now, don't forget what your pasta is cooking. Get in there and stir the noodles so they don't stick to one another or the pot. Pay attention. Don't sit up there and watch Netflix. Here. Be careful as you're straining those noodles. That steam can get to you. Pepperidge Farm. 
is the best garlic toast. It is better than the New York garlic toast. It is better than any other garlic toast you'll ever have. It's light, it's flaky, it's garlicky. It is the best, get this. All right, we're gonna put this in the oven. Put my cash app on the screen. Because this is what separates my spaghetti from everybody else's. Are you ready? Are you, are you ready? Are you really ready? <laughs> okay, you're ready. All right, make sure all of the water is off of those noodles. I got me a big old bowl. Boom. You put your noodles in there. Are you ready for the secret? Are you ready for the secret? See, see, my secret. My secret is this. Okay, back up just a little bit. You don't have to get that close. My secret is this, that you season your noodles to the point where you can eat the noodles by themselves. Whereas, if you didn't have any sauce, you could just eat the noodle by itself, okay? So what we do, we take a half a stick of butter, drizzle some olive oil on there, okay? Now, you know, where I got, you know where I got this idea from? Italian restaurants. At the end, when I would just devour my plate of pasta, I would look at the bottom of my plate and it was nothing, there'd, be, there'd be nothing in there but wonderful olive oil and butter at the bottom of my plate. And I figured that's, that's what made it good. They had all of this olive oil and butter. That's what, that's what the, that's what the secret is. And so we're just tossing the noodles in that butter and olive oil. Oh my God. Every noodle should be glistening of butter and olive oil. This is the bomb, okay? Garlic salt grinder. We gonna put some real garlic up in this mug. Okay, we want to see the seasoning. Come on, somebody. And we're going to toss it a little bit. Okay? Then we're going to put some real pepper. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Then we're going to take some of this McCormick garlic and onion and, and, and black pepper and sea salt. Oh, yes, we are. Okay, you know that's good. And we're just gonna toss it. Huh? We're just gonna toss it? Oh yes. You can eat this, these noodles by themselves. Lord have mercy. Lord have, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy! Now, everybody likes their spaghetti different. I like more noodles than I like sauce. Mm -hmm. Ew. So we're just gonna get a little bit of that noodle. Those flavored noodles, come with me. Okay, and we're gonna take it, ladle it on up. Ooh! Ah! Oh, that's good. Oh, oh my God. Oh my goodness. Wow. Oh, that's good stuff right there, baby. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. How? That was legitness. That's how you do it. Oh yeah. It doesn't it doesn't look any better than that. Get on in there and take a good look at that. Woo! Woo -hoo! Oh yeah, baby. Now, as our Italian friends do it. They take a fork and they take a spoon and they go right in there. Oh, that's, oh, if you could just smell it. And they take it and they just twirl. Oh my gosh. Cause the noodles aren't broken. Look at that. You see that? You know it's gonna be. You already know it's gonna be good. You already know. You already know. Y'all, this is so good. This is my ghetto spaghetti. You can taste the butter, the olive oil, the garlic, all the vegetables. 
Why you chew on it? It's so buttery and garlicky. I gotta eat. I love y'all. I gotta eat this food. I hope you and I hope you enjoyed your time with me. This is a good recipe. You already know. Huh? God gave it to me. He gave it to me. I love y'all. Until next time, keep ghetto cooking. I got you. Love you.